Hey, this is Jeff Rose, GoodFinancialSense.com. Just don't want to take a quick minute to address a, a, just an occurrence that's actually happened uh, more often over the past few weeks. So I got some clients that are approaching retirement. They're getting ready to flip that switch where they no longer have that paycheck that they've been so accustomed to you know, for their entire life to now their paycheck is going to become their retirement account. Their IRAs, where now they will be uh, d depositing directly into their bank accounts, and that's going to be their paycheck. So that's what they have to live off of. And the, the the mistake that I'm seeing that a lot of them that want to do is they want to pay off all their debt. They want they think they still need the exact same amount that they were getting as they were working. So they want to keep drawing the same amount of paycheck. And the the one thing I, I got to go over with them again is this. One, okay, I, I agree. Paying off debt is a very good thing. I want people to do it, but not from the standpoint of having to pay extra tax by doing so. And what I mean is, is that these clients are wanting to take distributions from their IRAs or pensions and pay the appropriate 20, in some cases we're talking 25% taxes to pay off the debt. And if the debt is a car note, which most often time it is to where they've only there there are no interest rates like anywhere from like four to six percent. I just don't see the point of paying twenty five percent income tax to pay off a note that's only having to yield you six percent interest. And one thing I would just have you consider is when you do retire and you want to pay off these debts, just make sure you do it in a tax efficient manner. Meaning that, okay, maybe it's not this year. Maybe you you retired halfway through the year to where you still have six months worth of wages that you have to claim. And now if you're going to take distributions from your IRA, that's also going to be treated as ordinary income. And on top of that, you're going to take distributions from your pensions or your 401k. So all of a sudden now, you know, where we could have been in that 10 to 15% bracket, now we're in the 25% bracket just because you want to pay off debt. And... To me, it's just not worth it. I I admire the fact that you want to you know get rid of the debt, but at what cost? You know, if it's actually going to cost you more to pay off that debt, you know, does it really make sense? And the other thing is, do you are you really thinking that you need the exact same amount per month to live off of? Now, if you've done an an awesome job to where you've got several million saved. And that can yield you that same income that you're used to without you know hurting your principal. You know that's fine, but with the one just a conversation I had a client. They they wanted to start drawing out the exact same amount that they were earning from their paychecks. And basically, my my thought was this: I why start on the higher side? You know why don't we start off smaller? You know a more conservative number, and let's gauge it like every like ninety day period to where okay after ninety days. You know, did you have enough? Were you able to make your budget? You know, still pay all the you know all your uh, household living expenses, but also have enough over you know to you know do the things you want to do, eat out, travel, etc. You know, do all those things. So those are the the two things that just kind of came up here recently. Just want to address it. So if you are approaching retirement, you know, one don't get so in a craze of paying off debt, especially if it's going to cost you more on taxes. That's number one. Number two is really start thinking or just being prepared, you know, to live off less. You know, don't think that you're going to need to draw the same amount income wise, you know, just to sustain you know, your standard of living. So those are just some quick uh, retirement tips and uh, things to consider if, if retirement is approaching you. If you want more information, head over to the blog, goodfinancialsense.com. Uh, look forward to talking to you soon. We'll see, we'll see you next time.